Hi everybody, this is a review on the um, uh, a new deck that I've got from Lamucci. I did have that, my, my first deck that I had from Lamucci was with the cat and the app. I still have it and it's very dear to me so that's why you can see the logo of the cat's head. This just literally came in um, about five minutes ago, Lamucci Design. And this is the box they sent it in. It's packed really, really well. And let's see what we have, because this was from Kickstarter, but you can now get it from Lamucci, uh, their website. So that was packed like that, and it was really well packed. The sides were secure, double cardboard. As you can see, it's folded in and also it was in plastic uh, envelope. I got the sun, uh, a little brooch, the sun. Okay, let's take it out of the plastic. Let's see whether um, you can see better without the gleam, gleaming of the um, plastic bag. I can't open it, it's really secure so small and fidgety so you can wear that on your lapel or on a dress or a skirt and it says the sun okay I think it's nice I put that on my altar and this is the suitcase that um, I wanted it's waterproof it also drifts apparently I haven't tried it out yet I'm not going to because I'm not going to try to damage my cards um, it is a bit pricier because you do get this case. It is uh, watertight and uh, it floats apparently, I believe. So that definitely, I used to have a boat, but now I can travel and bring my own suitcase for my cards. This is the Dreamscapes, that was it. The Tarot Drek Dreamscapes. It's very, very well lined. You've got another... Uh, thing there to put a notepad in or something else but this is um, a reading mat I think and there's also there you go I haven't even put it together I didn't even realize that this was inside it so you can clip it on and then this you can clip this on to um, the side here and that's how you can wear it so and I'll just do that in right in front of you. Uh, it's been a while since I've done, uh, I think it's been since December or January since I've done a review because it's getting more expensive um, to uh, buy cards or anything like that because of the postage. You have to pay income tax on it and postage of course. So this comes from Slu Lithuania, Slovenia and it's quite a hard box I love the colors on it it's just like water so yes because it's waterproof or tight um, that's why um, uh, they've done it most probably with water you get uh, a discount uh, for the next order from Lumucci uh, Lum design and we got a passport holder or even a photograph holder so that's quaint and you have a key holder it was all in plastic but i just unwrapped the passport holder for your id card holder it's not real leather so it's all environmental friendly and this is the uh no it's not a key holder you know the old-fashioned key holders this is to um put your name and address on and tie it on to the a little suitcase if you want to or use it on your own suitcase if you're traveling with more suitcases and this is I think a reading mat or a scarf all depends who you are and what you want to use it for I suppose I've never had one of these before except from uh, an other make usually you have to buy them and they're very expensive so yes when you go to um, uh, fairs you can take this with you and you can open it up and great stuff 
it's very very pretty uh, I don't know whether it's real silk I don't imagine so but it's still it's very nice so very very nice it feels nice it doesn't feel cheap it feels more like silk than uh, polyester so there we go now I'm going to open this one up and let's have a look again you don't have something to rip it open with but you have to be careful that you don't damage the box so, I was looking forward I, I ordered this last year like I said it uh, came from Kickstarter that's where you can find projects but because I'm a follower of Lamucci design um, they sent me an email saying that they were making a new deck so it's quite sturdy and it's not uh, magnetized it's just really what you expect from Lamucci design okay we're within the ether uh, realm of dreams our souls dance fearlessly with the sta stars whispering secrets of unlapped potential and revealing the extraordinary beauty hidden within us and this deck is called dreamscapes let's have a look it's quite a thick book and it's all color and you can see by the drawings the usual drawings and um, that is her trademark I think that the figurines look the same as the other deck that I had it's in color you've got the for example a little story or um, the three of cups tarot card symbolizes festivities calm camaraderie, camaraderie and communal bonds typical uh, typically pointing to moments of happiness and social interaction and then it, you have the three of cups is a positive card that represents celebration joy and festivities the reader may anticipate an upcoming celebration whether it's a birthday milestone event or a party this card encourages get gathering with loved ones and to uh, ones to immerse in light-hearted fun and joyous activities it could be as simple as planning a night in with friends relishing good food and company and then you've got the reverse the card may indicate overindulgence superficial connections and misplaced priorities it could suggest that the reader is prioritized short-term pleasures over deeper more meaningful relationships the reverse position urges reflection on genuine connection and reassessing social commitments to align with the truth values now that is um, quite explicit for such a little book that you have so uh, detailed um, uh, about one card um, we ha it goes comes open and the table of content is about the tarot about dreamscapes tarot spreads major karma and then you've got the wands cups swords and pentacles and i just love it as usual otherwise i wouldn't have bought it about tarot about dreamscape deck the in inception of the dreamscapes tarot deck aroused from the deep-seated um, aspiration to manifest the interconnected connectedness between individual tarot cards originally our aim was to craft a deck that would beautifully illustrate the comprehensive paranormal of the fool's journey however as our creative journey unfolded we couldn't resist extending this concept to individual suits each card seemingly less linked to the counterparts forming a mesmerizing tapestry when placed in correct sequence designing this deck was a thrilling creative endeavor with enthusiastically embraced to the end product is nothing short of visual masterpiece a tarot deck that not only survives serves 
as an uh, exquisite work of art but also characters both beginners and seasoned readers alike. It's a tool that empowers you to explore the profound symbolism and interact intricate narratives of the cards. Symbolism and intricate narratives of the cards, making it an ideal companion for your tarot journey. No matter where you are on the path, dive in, uncover the mysteries and embark on a transformative tarot experience with the Dreamscapes um, deck. Now, then it goes into recommended spreads, a single spread, um, and then you've got the past, present and future, and of course the Celtic Cross, but I'll just stick to my own. Uh, let me see, what's the back, in the back, Dreamscapes, within the ether room, da, 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 da. and then you've got the website, that is lamuchidesign.com, 2023. Now, I don't know whether there is a certificate on how many there were made, we'll see, and you've got a blue ribbon, that is also one of her colours, black and blue, and also that pink. Again, it's in done in the same trend as the cat deck, the Lamucci deck, the first one that I've got. There's also a Lenamon uh, deck of that. Put that aside, let's have a look. We've got the Dreamer. So this gives me an indication that the names aren't the same as the traditional tarot. The Dreamer, obviously she's standing on the edge, so that is the um, uh, the, de uh, the fall and the dreamer the, oh, so it seems that there might be two let's have a look, where's the book that is how we have to you see, that's how you get the yeah, the fool, the dreamer the dreamer card embodies visionary aspirations and creative inspirations urging individuals trust their inner vision while maintaining a balance with practical realities. The Dreamer card represents visionary thinking, inspiration and pursuit of uh, aspirations. It signifies, so let me just have a look at the Dreamer, the Fool. No, it does say the Fool uh, symbolizes fresh starts, daring to take a leap of faith and setting forth on an adventure with uncertainty ahead. So it's a separate card, so there is an extra card. Now I'm going to stop here because I just want to find out definitely the, the right uh, meaning of the dreamer. Hold on. Right, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I've taken the um, reading mat away because it is they're very busy cards and on video you have to be careful that you have a plain background so that you can see the cards much better now i do like the effect of the cards um, they look black on a video but take it from me it is blue okay some parts are black it goes into black and then into blue okay so the dreamer is not the fool this is um, dreaming of something, being inspired to look within yourself and around yourself like I just read and then we have, they're not numbered um, but they are gilded in that beautiful aqua marine colour gilded so really nice, the corners are round so you won't get any donkey ears and they're also boardless uh, like the light series and like the, um, um, what do you call it, the, um, uh, the uh, Ora, Orion Animal Tarot. Uh, I do like, uh, uh, sometimes in other decks I like the boarded and sometimes I like the unboarded. It is actually, up, uh, some people do cut the borders off. So for those that do cut uh, borders off, this is a perfect deck for you. Here you can see the fall at the edge of the cliff. It does look a lot like the Dreamer. So even if um, I didn't want to use the Dreamer, I could use it for the fall. 
um, this is masculine and this is feminine so definitely um, that is an option and this one is not that one is uh, it is numbered but the dreamer isn't numbered so just be careful because like I said they're very busy so you can't it would have been much nicer if they did that with the guild so it would stand out okay we've got the magician now they're all in a bit in the air it's high up so far so the magician is in the air there is the um, magical book the noir or grimoire and we've got the um, candles as light being the light uh, and the infinity symbol around the person I think that's quite nice and on her chest that's where the infinity symbol is here you can see that her bra is the infinity symbol and also the swirly around her so you do get um, the feeling that the, the universe is with her it is numbered number one we've got the ones the swords the pentacles and the cups and very spiritual colors a lot of blue and purple purple is spirituality again here with the high priestess I thought she was lovely when I saw her on the little video clip that's one of the ones I saw she hasn't got the Torah here but you do have the triple moon goddess it has been um, um, the Torah is not there I can't see it perhaps I might see it another time because every time I look at the deck um, you see new things and same with this artist she's um, absolutely amazing uh, Asura she's called the designer and the owner the high priestess this one has got a pregnancy uh, a swollen tummy so definitely a new growth also the um, light from the divine coming down seeds she's throwing out seeds really Re these this is thought through again the emperor the hierophant it's got that modern look to it but yet that classical look that mytholo uh, mythology and uh, mytholo myth mythology look Roman Greek and then we've got the lovers oh I like that one really nice the chariot hasn't got a canopy that's good strength the hermit I hope you can see it and I'll make it a little bit larger this is the wheel of fortune we've got Taurus here the lion here with the angel wings everything's got wings so Taurus Leo Aquarius because of the air and then um, Scorpio it looks like there's water coming down okay justice now we don't see this the scales are right at the back but you this is what I mean the picture is really really busy and you have to look well at it to get to know the um, you can see it as a female although she's got her hair up or short hair we've got the hanged man no halo around this one he's got yellow hair or blonde hair okay. some kind of net underneath you might interpret that because you've got nets here and a net around the number and the feet uh, cobwebs okay getting caught it's already starting to work wow uh, the death card I like it 
he's not on the horse but he's next to the horse and then you've got temperance very beautiful the devil do you see how fiery some of these cards are the tower the star I really do like them it's better than I, an I anticipated the moon you've got a dog here or a wolf and the dog there black and white and the towers oh nice one they're very simple but they're very detailed there's no child here usually you see a child this looks more like a teenager or grown up again we have the judgment card angel there and it's a human blowing a trumpet okay the world and an extra card again so at the beginning we have that other card the inspiration card the dreamer and at the end we have rebirth so the death is already in there right number 15 let me just see the devil there's the death card number 13 okay because in some decks you do have the rebirth card uh, in, in uh, instead of the death card but it's quite nice to have the both of them so again you can change the rebirth card for the death card like on TikTok, you're not allowed to say death really um, because you can get down, uh, taken down okay that happened to me in the beginning when I started and then some other creator said you're not allowed to say death uh, there's certain words you're not allowed to use on TikTok so that is the major arcana okay beautiful now we're going on to the ones um, major arcana is numbered but the extra cards the rebirth and the dreamer are not numbered okay uh, by the looks of it the um, suits aren't numbered either so i will be amazed if the um, page knight queen and king uh, might be numbered i don't think so because that's here a suit in a suit okay so they're not numbered you've got the two of ones actually i think they will jump out uh, on um, you've got the number here in the name you see and uh, this is what happens to me sometimes i don't see things ace two three i look at the pictures straight away because i don't need the numbers and it's quite easy so this is a good deck for beginners if you didn't have the numbers you would still know by the detailed and the clearness of the image the four of ones the five of ones the six of ones the seven of ones eight of ones and again you see that there are oranges reds and browns uh, in the fire element the nine of the ten of ones the page of ones the knight of ones oh i like the queen the queen of ones but you don't see the black cat the 
I wonder why she's left it out because she's nuts about cats and that was her other that is her design her logo okay and we do have lions in the back but it doesn't have the same meaning as the black cat for me this is the king of wands then we go to the cups and again you see more blue here because that's water and purple because of spirituality the two of cups and I like the way she has um, also adapted young old skinny uh, mature uh, a little bit little bit larger so definitely she's not looking on the um, to, for me it means a lot she's not looking at the beauty of the outside it really shows the beauty of the inside the hand of the divine the four of cups the five of cups the six of cups here you can see a child and black hair and blonde hair the opposite so yes it's like if you're bet uh, if you're better off or less uh, um, better off so it does show the opposite the seven of cups the eight of cups the nine of cups enjoying the luxury again the bird of paradise is not there but doesn't matter because everybody interprets it differently again though I get a feeling of a mature person the ten of cups again she's left the animals away but you do have the generation the father and the mother and the children but there's only two generations not three <clears throat> the page of cups again the fish very significant with a page the knight of cups coming in with the chalice an offer the queen of cups she's absolutely gorgeous and the king of cups yes I like that really beautiful and oh I am glad it seems that the swords aren't just silver or grey oh the colours are very welcoming very nice indeed two of swords blindfolded three of swords the four of swords now I don't know where the other sword is we've got a sword here a sword here a sword there one two three oh this most probably on this chest no oh, I've got a handle here from a sword and a sword here behind the four of swords so there are four swords yes I do try to look for detail when I do a review the five of swords there's not two people there's three people here very despondent in the background and in front yeah he looks quite cheerful so the six of swords again 
rough water, smooth water in the back. The Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Very colourful, really nice. Pleasant to the eyes. Very peaceful as well. The Nine of Swords. Now, and she's used men and women. Uh, you know, in some decks you see a man that is stamped with the Ten of Swords. Here it is a lady in the back. We've got the Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Clouds simulating the, the speed of the air the queen of swords well I like her boots she's ready to fight nice queen warm colors nice the king as well a little bit more grayish but still there he has red hair and um, red hair brown hair and he wears his sword colorful sword and he's got silver boots with gold or copper so it does bring the picture more alive the ace of pentacles and pentacles being earth leaves green really nice so the suits are colored the swords are dark blue um the cups are black yeah black and the major arcana is blue as well purpley blue i would have thought that um that is sort of brown not red i would have made it red and the cups light blue two of pentacles Three of Pentacles. Here we've got two people, not three. Um, usually see a man and a woman with a baby on the arm and watching and then the teacher with the apprentice. The Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. I like the way it's simulated like the church window uh, lead in glass really nice the six of pentacles it's a statue not a person that's the feeling I'm getting people begging um, bit cold uh, seven of pentacles really nice eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles the bird of paradise you don't see that in the in the nine of cups I should correct myself but here you've got a dove it's white so that's nice she's very simply dressed but very exquisite Ten of Pentacles, here we do have the family. And there are three generations. Didn't show on the cups. Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. I like the way that there is sort of like tattoos or something on her boots that represents branches and leaves the same with the king so nice the king of pentacles and that's it that was the review i hope you've enjoyed it and um, the information will be in the description box on where you can order it and also uh, how much it is 
So take care, please like and share and join me in the lives. Take care. Bye-bye.